Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. This is the brand that is just the basic, um, no, uh, you know, just plain water. It's like a Perrier, but to me it has more of a salty, it almost tastes like Alka-Seltzer, but not quite that strong. And it's not that much because I'm supposed to watch my salt sodium, 15 milligrams, 1%. But um, it, you talk about quench your thirst. So uh, I'm just going to say Sue in Kerrville told me that she, uh, Sue, I hope you don't mind. She got a bid canceled uh, from, this, from the shop Goodwill online saying that they're closing for a while or whatever um, and so I checked back on there and it says based on the city uh, so I would imagine cities so definitely in California Washington State and other places could be closing um, Florida probably and just other big cities probably because of the situation so just giving y'all a heads up, we have a limited supply of bags. As of yet, we have no cases in the town I'm living in. It was official today, however, they did call a state of emergency in case they need to mobilize stuff. That's what they do, you know, to get funds and stuff released. Um, so I think it's just a matter of time and everybody's nervous about it. I mean, we all have underlying conditions. Most people do. Most people do. So, having said that, uh, Edward, he is so sharp. First of all, he says he can smell silver. <laughs> uh, probably through the video, too, because he's pick, he picks out silver that I have, like, uh, not seen a mark. Well, he saw a mark on this brooch, y'all. You know how brooch lots, and I was just talking with Sue as well. Uh, they go for so much money, and they are so picked over. They don't even put any more silver or gold or nothing in them anymore. Hardly any more designers. And Aunt Barry's been trying to get three of them in the last few days went for over $225, $250. We just can't get them. And, um, and no telling now, I think they're just putting, you know, anything that, and they call it pins and brooches. So, um, I think it goes this way. Monet. <laughs> Edward, man, I tell you what, I almost let a Monet go by me, and it's in good condition. That's got to be 1970s, y'all, with those browns. Remember when those browns were so popular? Seems like I had clothes with orange and browns on them like that. Monet. Be putting that in my Monet lot. Uh, which is not very big. I can't find it. Um, oh, well, actually it's a little bigger than the others. But anyway, right now I'm... I don't know. We're just going to do another jewelry jar is all I'm saying. Uh, I went there today. Uh, there's nobody in the thrift store. That is John's thrift store. And they change their hours. They're not open on Sunday. And there's nobody in there anyway. And I shouldn't be in there either. But um, since we don't have a case yet. And all that. Um, what else? Oh, I see Amethyst. This is from pre-corona COVID whatever the number is, uh, 19, January 30th of 2020. I mean, pre before it came here. Um, this is, and so I went and, um, they've got everything bleached down and there's nobody in there. And, uh, the girl that has sold me these before, I said, well, I'm, I'm just popping right in and right back out. I said, because I'm just actually just looking for these. And she's like, no, ma'am, we haven't got any of those yet. I said, well, I'm, don't, don't tell her to make any. There's too much going on. I just wanted to see if she did. 
Because I'm also figuring they have time on their hands now. But what do I know? China. Watch it. And I'm going to say one more thing. we got to start bringing all of our factories home. They're talking about trying to get these respirators made by car manufacturing here. But then somebody talked about how the parts... And, and, and masks and gloves and everything, you know, we have outsourced for the last 20 years in this country. It's time to bring it home. I've never liked it anyway. I'd rather pay more for something and just have a few things than a bunch of junk for cheap and have people have jobs here. That's the way I feel. And then we're in control of our own destiny for the most part where we can make what we need if a condition like this happens. Boy, I'm on a roll. 925 on the little clasp. I don't think this is going to be 925, but I will test it. It could be. Oh, well. I spoke too soon. I'm glad I saw it or Edward would be <laughs> messaging me saying, you missed another mark. There it is. Let's check it out. Check it out. And probably have turquoise. Y'all think? Thin layer of turquoise on that. That's gorgeous. I mean, I don't know if it's turquoise or not, but look. M925 and beautiful hammer little design back there. Wonderful uh, necklace. I'm upbeat today because it's Friday night. <laughs> well, I forgot. It is Friday night lights, y'all. Friday night. Oh my, that's really pretty. Um, yeah, it's Friday night. And Aunt Barry, we quit buying from Shop Goodwill because my friend said, I don't want any of these. And now we're going to talk about it again. This stuff lives on metal for three days. It lives on plastic for three days. So uh, we didn't want to bring something in the house from, you know, people donating uh, in California or where. And I'm not dogging California. I just mean anywhere. You don't know where this is going to be. So I'm all about the pre- COVID-19 jewelry bags right now. And in fact, uh, somebody bought something from me. She bought $100 worth of stuff and said, how are y'all doing there? And I said, well, we do not have any cases right now. And uh, I was just happy to say that, you know. The jewelry is going to be okay that you're getting from here right now. Um, maybe that will be in the bag. But this is kind of rough. I think it's going to go, definitely going to go. It's all the gold plating's gone. At first I thought it was brass, that brassy color, but no. It's going to go in our, like, umpteenth giveaway. And I have a couple jars outside that I need to wash. But I'm down, I had, like, literally ten, you know, people donated at the, where they dropped it off to recycle where the bottles are. So I pick them up and, um... I was picking up all these vases, right, for the jewelry jars that I just put junk in. And uh, it is junk. It's not even craft material. But I always put one or two wearables. And a lot of them are wearable if you want to, you know, spray them or do something. This just says fashion jewelry, so I can't even put that in a design or nothing but anyway it's a good cause so here's where I get them um, these this is the thrift stop shop that John all of this goes to you know a good cause so I don't feel bad you know buying there this is a really cute, I'm trying to see if this has a mark. No, I don't see a mark. 
but it is really a cute pendant. It's a little bit dusty. Uh, that would clean up really well. Beautiful pink. That pink is a gorgeous color of pink. You're seeing it's just dirty. Aunt Bunny says, hey, I don't need to just clean silver. I can dust that one right up. She wants to get a hold of this. Everything is bigger in Texas. If you don't believe me, look at that. Look at that. Man, that is so neat. It's a guy with a dog. Is that a dog? Yeah. No, that's the calf he's roping. Hard to see. Riding the horse. I think he's got a part of the lasso in his mouth. I don't know. Uh, what does all this say? Genuine, no, crumb rind. Heavy silver plate on jeweler's bronze. Ooh, jeweler's ne Reno, Nevada. Crumb rind jeweler's Reno, Nevada. And I don't know what this little writing here says. Wow. Crumb rind, Emmett, made in the USA. And look, it's in good shape. I mean, this is coming off, but that's at the back. And then, but all that is still there. Man. Bronze, huh? Super. We like that. Everything's available, pretty much. Um, I'm kind of partial to my turquoise, so I'm probably going to hang on to that one. But you can have me hold something. It's going to come real soon where I'm not going to the post office anymore. And I haven't really been going. It's just... Um, I have one on eBay. This lady bid on a lot of things. And she's from one of the states. She's not. She paid for it once and now she's not paying anymore. So the, her last thing ends in about three days. And um, I just pray that nothing's happened to her. Because when I saw, I had mailed one out already that she paid for. And once those are done, I'm probably going to close the shop, the, the two shops down for a couple weeks. Because there's no point in me going to the post office. Now I'm talking about it again. I'm sorry. It's just we're making these decisions right now. Well, we picked up our toilet paper today. I went and got it. Oh, the truck got taken out of the shop. By the way, I had another rude bully, and I, I was able because they have they have like a, a YouTube channel with twelve videos, and when they have a channel, you can click on their channel, then you can put their link in your something community about block. So if they have a channel, you can block them completely from seeing your videos. If they don't have a channel, you just mute their comments. But they can still see your videos. But yeah, I got up in the morning and I'm having my coffee. And she goes, It's been only three minutes and I've already fallen asleep two times. Quit talking. Look, we got to get her. Where is she? Where is she? I forget her name, too. Diana the Diamond Diva. This is such a mess back here. Where are you? Here she comes. <laughs> if that don't make you laugh, if you're new to the channel, she came in a jewelry jar without, you see the eraser? She Her head was knocked off. And so my friend got an eraser, painted it with some of our rock painting acrylic, and the Goo Goo Eyes came out of the dumpster, the, the thrift store. I have so much to talk about. Oh my God. Toilet paper and thrift store. I hope I remember. Let's see if we've got some diamonds. Yeah, so I muted her. And I'm like, you know what? Lady, you should be thanking me for being able to put you to sleep in three minutes. Because a lot of people, that is a really good thing to be able to do. You can save money on your sleeping pills. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Oh, genuine diamond. Wow. Okay, okay. 
Diamond Diva. Look. We don't have gold or silver, but these may be. I'm, I'm going with what they say. The back fell off the one. I'm not going to lose it. Go back in there. Ah, that is just... Oh my God, I'm going to have to show y'all how tiny that is. It's so tiny that it can't even be mounted to be have an open back. But I'm not complaining. Do y'all see the little round part? It's just, it's mounted on something that's giving it sparkle. But, and anyway, that's fine. I don't know if this is going to work, though. Because normally the diamond is... But Janet up there in Michigan said it, a diamond will show up. I'm going to have to get new batteries. It's going up a little. It's that noise is the metal. Uh, I'm going to... It should be working. See, I tried to... She had, Janet had said, check out this ring to see if that's got anything because they were, they're cloudy looking. I don't know. Um, I've got, I probably just need new batteries. Where is something that is a diamond? Anyway. It doesn't matter. It's genuine diamond. We're going to go with that. That's the way I feel. And I need to get a battery for that diamond tester and test that ring and all. They're pretty. All right. I'm saying woohoo, you know? I'm saying woohoo. Uh, what was I telling y'all? So they changed their, okay, John's thrift store, changed their hours, closed on Sunday, closed at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. No mark on that one. This is pretty. Soda light. I'd been thinking about soda light, and it's cold, so it's a stone. Um... The other thrift store that I dumpster dive, they're closed till the 30th until further notice, and we may be going past that. This is not real. That's not soda light. It's coming off. So it's just like a, a white glass or stone painted. Okay, let me see here who's tricking us. Liz and company. And it's just terrible quality I mean uh, I'm saying terrible quality it's pretty enough but and I think the little glass beads are real pretty but you see the paint coming off there and that I believe is glass I just this clasp it just lost all of its color well, it's broken. Wait a minute. This... No, it's not. It's not broken. Maybe this piece is older. I don't know. It has been through the ringer. Like somebody wore this in the shower or something. It was a well-loved piece. What do you think I should do? Put it in the bead lot, right? Somebody could do something with some of those. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, these are kind of cute little, I think these are glass. So they closed, but, um, I looked to see if they had stuff in their dumpster, because sometimes when they close, they, they get all hog wild in there and start cleaning out the whole place. Those, and they had thrown a bunch of stuff out, but it wasn't worth me doing anything with. I just moved on. Went to feed the cats today. 
I didn't get to go yesterday, but because um, of the truck situation. I, what is that? That's pollen. They store this stuff out in a container, maybe outside, or I don't know. No, that can't be pollen. This is from January. It's just dust. But is this? Ooh, wee, I like it. Let's see what the clasp is doing. No. Look at this, y'all. That is so pretty. Those are some real amethyst chips. And the light green, prob um, and they're bevel too on the light green. And then probably some more pearls. Oh my, that is gorgeous. That is really nice. That's a good piece. We like that. Gemstones. Um, sometimes they clean out over there when, they, when they're closed. Those ladies get in there. But, you know, it's not safe to take donations right now or to have people in your shop. So, everybody's closing. There's just this dust or something. Now, this is pretty. It looks more than a glass, but it could be glass. And I don't know. This is from some other shop because... Or maybe they were going to put it out because they actually have these black ones. But they never got to pricing them. And then she started throwing stuff. This is really nice, though. And this might be lava. This feels weird. It doesn't feel like wood, but yet it doesn't feel like stone. Nor does it feel like plastic, so... Could be lava rock. Could be. Really, really pretty. We like that. Is this another Fitbit? New Balance. I don't know. New Balance. This just dust got in here really bad in this bag. I don't know why. Not from here. What does that say? Lumin Luminox. Swiss made. Luminox. I kind of like their emblem. They look pretty cool. Luminox. It doesn't look worn at all except for um, it's got dust on it. Might have to look that one up. Oh, so I went to feed the kit the kitties and couldn't get there yesterday. <coughs> Say that dust. Um, mm. This doesn't have any. Yeah, I'm glad it's sticking to Betty because I didn't want to be, you know, wondering if that's gold. I walked again today, so that's fantastic. Gotta be walking these days. We got rain. And it, uh, it's 40, 50 something degrees. That's cute. Uh, I'll put that in just a little angel lot. Too many stories. I can't even concentrate. So the truck got worked on. And it was what they thought. The evaporator coil was full of the die to show that the Freon leaked there, which means they had to open, pull the whole dash out. So that's why it was 700 bucks. But now it's cold, cold, cold. Now this is a gold tone. But that, oh, well, Betty says, don't waste your time. I know the clasp will always be magnetic because there's a spring in there. But that just looks so pretty, but it's not, and the clasp is not marked. And it's kind of not working. It is a pretty, um, like if that could be changed out. It's a pretty herringbone. Susan Gill, I'm just going to throw that in case you ever get anything from me again later down the road. I've got a couple of little things to throw in there for you. 
<laughs> you're the you, you're really good at fixing things. Okay, well, um, seed beads that'll go in the bead thing. I have been getting more seed beads lately. Okay, what is all this? Which way does it go? Something anniversary, Texas 150th anniversary, buckle number 85. Oh, is it limited edition? Okay, so our John Johnny Highs Country Music, Texas says yeah 1836 to 1986 y'all this is just in mint condition i'm gonna have to look this up there's the alamo review i've been to the alamo it's a small building it's tiny in the middle of these huge buildings downtown and san antonio is a beautiful city downtown with the river that goes through my aunt who has since passed away at the age of 90 and by the way, she would not be liking seeing what's going on. She's living in, lived in Germany. Um, commemorative 6th anniversary. Anyway, San Antonio, she did get to go there. My mom took her there back in the 70s. And she was very charmed by the city of San Antonio, the downtown area. Where you get on the little gondola and it's a tiny little river, creek. And the Alamo's down there, Hemisphere Plaza, beautiful city. Total pedestrian zone down in there. This is not in bad condition, really. Okay, so the kitty, and I thought that was, oh, the air conditioner. Yeah, well, they fixed it. And they also did, I needed an oil change because I'm keeping my daddy's truck going. So these just need to be wiped down. They got dusty somehow. It's a nice gold tone. Well, there's like a another kitten that's kind of like Minka's age. Oh my gosh. This feels like plastic though. And I call it Minka's cousin that hangs out with the pretty mama cat. We named her Sasha the mama cat. And the other one, you know, my friend's like, why does she not get run off? Or why is she still there? And all that. Well, her her little brain seems to have some brain damage. She's just, something's wrong with her. You know, she kind of looks at you like she's been hit with a two by four. That she has kind of this weird look in her eye. Now, this looks like it's silver. Maybe it'll stick to a magnet and we won't have to, yeah. It sticks so anyway I had one can just one can and I generally put out one can a day so I had one can and I had a bunch of dry so I I, I feel like three empty cans that sit there with dry and then I open a fresh can and I call Sasha and they come running because they were hungry and uh, Sasha let her daughter have the the wet. That was so sweet of her. Pulsar. This looks nice. Might have to uh, with the date in there and all. That's got to be a nice watch. I'm probably going to have to lock these up and I'm not going to mess with batteries. I'm just not going to be doing that. There's another one y'all. This is going to be a good lot. Somebody's going to want this. Look at those. What is this? These are nice too. Timex Indiglo. Look at that watch. We've got some nice watches. Yeah, we'll be lighting these up. I'm going to look them up and there may be a time when I take good watches when I get my appraisal and just take 50 bucks and tell the guy to put batteries in there. Here's another Timex Indiglo. Casio stainless steel that's a really cool backdrop color it's it's glowing even more in real life like a lime green uh, I gotta look those up and then look at this one 
Waltham. Y'all, my, my, on my bucket list is a gold nugget of some sort. Not purchased, but if I found one in a jewelry bag, even if it's a fake, like it's made out of gold, but looks like a gold nugget, what I really want to do is find one in a dumpster or somewhere. But I want a piece of gold nugget. I want a real gold nugget. I don't want simulated gold nugget. So if I can get a real gold nugget, this is a gorgeous watch. I just love that. That is so tacky probably, but dang, is that nice. I'm going to look that one up. Skipped over this and all the excitement. These are their tags. They just never got the price to put out. She probably was like, you know, we're, th we're just, th we don't have room. So she threw it all in. Now that's real pretty, but it's plastic. Strange, huh? What is this? I wish we could find some gold. It's not. Made, it's like a little bookmark. This is 1830. Um, this is prayer. Pray for us. Okay. Is it the virgin? I don't know if it's a virgin or a saint. Or there was a sighting in 1830. I don't know. Obviously, this is just not... None of this is going to be real. But it's all tangled, too. I think I got to all my stories, y'all. I think I did. My friend's favorite show is on, so I got her phone, and I'm like, happy viewing. She likes the blacklist. She loves that show. And I don't know if it's been on and she's been missing it or what. He is a... I mean, I like the show, too. I can't follow it because it's just too much going on. Oh, this is a point, and I'm trying to undo it. It's not supposed to be undone. Let me see what's going on here. We know this is no point in looking, but I'm looking anyway. That's not a bad one. Gold plated, not bad at all. Now this is probably Korea. Actually doesn't say anything. These will all go in the gold lot. This one is much nicer. This one's really nice. And then... Well, I thought this would say Korea, but I'm not sure... Yeah, it does. It says Korea. And probably that's it. They must have cranked out. When was it when these gold chains were popular? I think they're for men. That's what I can see, like Playboy guys with these fake gold chains. 70s or something. I don't know. And this looks like another Korea. Yeah. It's twisted. It's really nice. It looks more like a 10 karat gold. Where these are more gold. But hey, I can't complain. Look at these watches. Craziness. All right. What are we, the 20th? How about we do something from this book? I like this book. Where, where we had left off. Um, 
I don't know if we read springtime in Nebraska, season of the first daisy. There is a springtime of confusion of breezes, nature's season of in-between, beyond the frigid blasts of winter and not yet come to summer's heat. There is renewal everywhere, new growth, new animals, red-breasted robins hop about on lawns and fields in quest of unwary worms. The arching branches of bridal wreath bushes are frosted with white blossoms and the fragrance of lilacs drifts into the house through open windows. There are splashes of reds and purples and yellows in beds of iris and tulips. Golden dandelions have put down roots impartially in country pastures, city parks, and in the well-tended lawns of those who think that lawns should all be green. The aroma of new-turned earth is everywhere as men and horses and plows stripe the fields with furrows. The smorgasbord of bugs and worms exposed by the plows is enthusiastically taste-tested by flocks of birds. Eggs kept snugly warm in an incubator will soon be miraculously transformed into bouncing little balls of yellow fluff. The wonderful breezes and warming sun send my mother into a kind of frenzy and for days I think I've read this. Half the contents of our house are literally turned upside down. Mattresses, quilts, and winter woolens are dragged outside to air. Carpets are hung on clotheslines where we take turns beating the dickens out of them. Shelves and closets are cleared out, cleaned, restored to order. Windows and mirrors are rubbed until they shine. Floors are scrubbed, curtains washed, starched, and ironed. When everything is back in its allotted place, there's much satisfaction and cleanliness and order, and there is, for a time, a lingering essence of sun and air throughout the house. There is a kind of restlessness at school as we anticipate the unstructured days of summer, a lightness of spring which may have been partially brought on by the shedding of our hated long johns. Crayons, scissors, and paste are much in use as we make paper chains, flowers, and butterflies to decorate our room. We work on a program to demonstrate our various talents, or lack of them, before our parents at the end of the school year. At recess, we draw out outside where I can hold my own hopscotch. We are drawn outside where I can hold my own hopscotch marbles and mumbly peg. On the way home from school, I detour into a meadow to search for the first daisy. I do not disturb this one the first, but days later I will run home with the stems of a starry bouquet clutched in grimy hands. I spend time grooming my horse, currying out the last of his rough winter hair, brushing his chestnut coat to a high shine. We ride out after school and on Saturdays to inspect the awakening countryside. We go off into the meadow where the daisies live. The horse nibbles contentedly on new grass while I lie, lie on my back for a worm's eye view of flowers and sky. The blossoms of spring will not last long and I am torn between wishing time would stand still and wanting it to fly. I am old enough to know that I need not mourn for dying daisies, that their deaths are but the beginning of a new cycle of life. And I am young enough to believe that devoe oh wait and I am young enough to believe that springtime in the meadow are forever things and are forever things and that I will always rendezvous with the first daisy either here or in some other place. Acknowledgement that death is part of the life cycle for people as well as for growing things is something to be pushed aside. To be thought about at a later time, maybe next winter when the daisies are sleeping beneath the snow on the meadow. I had already read this one once, so I'll put this marker down here. We'll do summer in Nebraska next time. And we will see y'all. I remember I forgot to tell y'all about picking up the toilet paper and about Olivia's little hijinks. She's having a good day. Tell y'all that next one. Stay well. God bless.